Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are here once again, and I am going to be trying out the uh, melee I'm weapon mods. Well. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. Sh shut up. <laughs> you forgot to introduce me, I feel so sad. Uh, <laughs> I'm using the um, pack created by um, Sophia, Unstable Strafe, whatever you want to call her. Um, and it's pretty cool. We got some interesting stuff. Also, we did start as, um, as Paradox, and we started with the... Um, Librum of the Chambers, which is kind of spicy, yes. and um, the Flame Hand. But anyways, this is like a lot of melee stuff. So we've got the Dynamallet, the Tesla Hammer, the Shrapnel Axe, the Diamond Sword, the Drifter Very Sword. Very nice sprites, by the way. Yeah, they're really, really good high quality. Sophia's um, become such a good, like, sprite artist. I think she is, yeah. I really like her sprites as well. Yeah, we've got the Table Tech Tear here, or Tear. I'm guessing it's Tear. Um... Flipping a table creates a slash, kind of interesting. Spawn multiple slashes around the room, that's kind of interesting, so whenever we blank. And then the serrated rounds. Shooting has a chance to spawn orbiting knives around the player. Some very cool stuff. I will just quickly say, there is a chance that we may see a visual bug with some of these. And that is not on the part of Strafe's work. That is because I have not updated Gungeon Gerber, which is sort of a uh, modding default that you have when you um install mod the gungeon i just couldn't be bothered to reinstall mod the gungeon because you have to do a full reinstall and it's kind of a pain in the ass so we may see yeah, a visual uh, bug but it is purely visual it was like, like happen. on the one on the one hand it would make, it would make uh sophia happy but on the other hand i'm a lazy cunt exactly but yeah melee weapons oh my god already got hit Oh my, I'm having it's such slow. a hard time. Oh my lord. Okay, that's not an enemy we want to be going at with a, with a melee weapon. Yeah, I said that as well when I first used them um, before. It, the, the melee weapons do swing very slowly. Wait, I think it might just be the hammers, because it's a hammer. But it's got, it's got like... Like, the axe axes. isn't that. The axe is pretty good. It, it does seem strange to make a uh, a melee weapons pack for a gun game. I like it. It's a cool idea. It's definitely cool. I'm just saying it's not thematic. And I think, uh, you know, I think, I think Sophia knows it's not thematic yeah. and just doesn't <laughs> care. I, I I'm not saying, I'm not I, saying that it's an oversight. I'm literally, I, I know she doesn't care. But it genuinely feels to me... Like, Sophia wants to make weapons for just something else. Like, she wants to make her own game. Yeah. And honestly, these would be so fucking good in, like, a, a game of your own, Sophia. Because I know you're watching this, and I'm not going to speak about <laughs> you as if we don't know each other anymore. <laughs> these would be so fucking good in a game, like, if you were to make your own roguelike. Definitely, yeah. Like you had... You have a such a like with these you've proven you have such a good sense of what makes like a good weapon. Definitely, yeah, I agree completely. What is what is this what is this little dibble do? There's the visual oh, this is, glitch. This is the one that has the glitch, yeah. No, I, once this glitch is triggered, it now triggers for every single one of them. Uh, like, you if we, oh no 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 no, it doesn't. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, I might die. I might die. Uh, just so we can continue this little showcase, let me just give myself some HP. Yeah, but this is going to sound really out of nowhere. Before recording this, me and Turtle were recording Half-Life 2. We were. And we were going on a lengthy discussion about nuclear criticality accidents. So we're going to continue Which that like conversation. <laughs> my obsession of the day. And you probably won't see that Half-Life episode for God knows how long. Yeah, any of you that are actually actively watching the Half-Life series at the minute, I'm still partway through uploading Half-Life 1. I think in the series we're about midway through the game. Me and Never Named have finished the whole of Half-Life 1 already prior to even starting uploading it. And we're already, like, about a third of the way through Half-Life 2. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... So we were talking about the Demon Core, and I was explaining to him the Tickling the Dragon's Tail incident, which I'm not going to re-explain. Uh, so, it's because uh, it's funnier that way, because <laughs> no, I, uh, I can't be bothered. Essentially, a man was fucking around with nuclear stuff, 
um, thinking he was all that, and then all of a sudden he wasn't all that, and then he's dead. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> the he simplest proved to be the second, second victim of the Demon Core. Uh, yeah, first words after realizing he'd received a fatal dose was, well, I guess that's that then. <laughs> well, I don't know, I think it was, that does it then. That does Sorry. it then. I don't, I don't want to misquote a dead man, obviously. I'm very, I'm very respectful. Very respectful of idiots that play with nuclear uh, energy in really unsafe ways, knowingly. Fortunately, because he was standing between himself and his uh, students, he was the only one who received a fatal dose. That's good, at least. <laughs> it would have been horrible if other people had. Open the chest. Nice. nice. <laughs> Blanky is such a weird, weird item. It's decent. I don't know I why I made it. it. Is that the one where whenever you use a key, it blanks? Yes. I think it's pretty good because most secret rooms are in item rooms, so it works quite well. Yeah. Whenever your amount of keys decreases. So it is slightly synergistic in that it will work with anything that, like, like let's say you have an active item that takes keys. Yeah. It is synergistic in the sense that it will work with that. Way to break, like, wet melee down the middle. <laughs> Actually, no, this is real melee, not fake melee, so it should work. Unless... Wait, what's, what's melee? No, the, I think... The... What do you think's melee? Go, go to the other, other weapons. No, I was talking about the other weapons. I think it actually works fine. Oh. Huh. Guess I did code slashes rather good after all. Because I think this... That's a bit odd. It is. Because I think this is still using uh, code that I made for uh, my slash stuff. Yeah. Which Sophia then took and bastardized. <laughs> Get back here, boy. Yeah, Sophia uh, destroyed my my baby, my baby code, my little itty bitty code. <laughs> she took it and she uh, she killed it. She sacrificed it to the devil. It works. It works. But yeah, it's fun to be trying out these unique weapons. I think they're really cool. I'm definitely yeah, looking forward to this becoming uh, becoming uh, like bigger, more fleshed out pack as well. I mean, it's already it's... quite fleshed out. It's got some good stuff. We're so unfocused. <laughs> yeah, I do no, apologize to you. Like, I know you want, me to be, you want me to be reviewing all this stuff, and I'm just like, I heard her and you <laughs> <play."> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that was the second person killed by the Demon Corp. And after this, it was, I think it was just sort of put away because people didn't want to fucking deal with it anymore. <laughs> this thing keeps killing people. Just hide it. Bury it somewhere. And eventually it was taken back by the US government and melted down to be placed into nuclear weapons. Ah. So it finally did become a bomb after all. What does the Tesla hammer do? I don't, it, it, it like shocks enemies like close to each other. Let's see. If there's like multiple enemies like in a grouping, it'll shock them all. Interesting idea. Hence the Tesla. So don't far, take damage. The Shrapnel Axe has been uh, the, the best one just because I've actually got some range with it. It doesn't seem to be doing a huge amount of damage though. No, no. It's, it definitely seems like a cop out melee weapon. Like, you don't want to be really using that one. It's just there for if you need some range. Yeah, it sacrifices damage. I think the, I think the Diamond range. Sword is. Oh my god. I think the Diamond Sword is the, um, by far the strongest one, but it also has, like, it has extremely low range to the point that it kind of makes it hard to use. I mean, it has low visual range, but it is hitting enemies from decently far away. Yeah, you're right, you're right, it is. It's just hard to judge where you can hit them because it's yeah. so visually stubby. Stubby, stubby boy. It's not about the size, it's about how you use it. Oh my god. Okay, can't use melee weapons in this, unfortunately. Whoa. This is cool. 
yeah, uh, Gravitron, it uh, orbits whatever you hit with it, and if the boss is, if the entity is big enough, it means the bullets just keep hitting. That's pretty good. <laughs> I love that on, I love that little effect at the end. I didn't realize that's how it would work on something big like a boss. <laughs> Basically, I had to code it, because uh, there was this issue with the bullets. What was that? Knives hitting the, uh, the wall. Okay, something is stacked. fucked with your sounds. Most certainly. Same, same shit with the black holes. Most certainly. <laughs> something is G definitely switch. Put. Spend uh, money to produce shields. Yeah. I think the dynamallet is probably the best room clearing one. I say that as it almost blasts an enemy directly into my face. Yeah, so sorry if that tangent about the demon core came out of nowhere. I just wanted to finish, you know, <laughs> we, talking. We literally, yeah, we just finish finished recording conversation uh, so. we were uh, still having. I don't want to leave him in suspense, you know? <laughs> the fuck is Ulf that? Bert. It's a weird thing that I made mostly for the hell of it. I'll see if I can buy it. Another sharp Sophia item. Exactly, and this is an item that I gave her the idea for as well. Because uh, I think it, I think I actually had the idea originally uh, when you released that video of all the unused Gungeon stuff, and I looked through and I, I went through all the different somewhat finished sprites and stuff, and came up with, with came up for item ideas for all of them, and this was one of I them. I see. Because you were a massive fanboy and cringe and... I was. Smelly. <laughs> and you're still cringe and smelly, but you don't respect me anymore. That's true. That is very true. That, that is exactly our relationship. Oh my god. It's just me being cringe and not respecting you. Haha, <laughs> you killed yourself. Yeah. You forgot the smelly. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a big part of it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm torn on what to use. There's so much choice for us right now. I'm really liking the passive items too. I need to try and use the uh, the table tech a little more though. I've not really used the table tech much yet. I think there's decent well table tech. Bullets. There's a table tech in my mod that I never finished. Because I, I couldn't get it to work right. Basically, it was a table tech that would make tables fire lasers in the direction you flip them. Ooh. I don't really get how this table tech works, I've got to be honest. It's called table tech slash, and it says like flipping a table does a slash, but I've not really seen it do anything yet, I'll be honest. Might be because the visual effect is fucked. Maybe. God damn, this thing's It's entirely possible. But basically, it would make tables fire lasers in the direction they were flipped, and I couldn't get it working because the lasers kept destroying the table, and I couldn't uh. figure out how to make them <laughs> not, you know, do that. Um, excuse me, why did it drop my items on the floor? I think that's what it does. Also, you didn't have the photograph before that. You, think you didn't have the photograph, you took Wait. damage, you lost the egg, and you gained the uh, photograph. I, I genuinely thought that, oh, by the way, I dropped my diamond sword in the fucking pit. You need to add pit protection onto this curse. God damn, no, so I'm not name. going to. It's, it's like it's part so of the thing. Annoying. I'm not going to make it. Just don't. It, it's thrown in the direction you're facing. Don't you, get hit. Sometimes you head. can't get. Sometimes you can't help it, and losing a good gun to that is just fucking bullshit. <laughs> don't get hit, five head. I don't like it. I like. I like the butterfingers. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, Personally, I, I think that. The pit thing is just part of the curse, and I don't want to make the curse toothless just because it annoys you when it's effective. I don't. I get that it's part of the part of the curse. It's meant to be part of the danger, but literally losing one of your weapons seems way too harsh. Yeah, but you say that like it's guaranteed. It's not guaranteed, but even when it does happen, it's just. If, not basi it, one, basically, what I'm saying is... Not every is... room has a pit. One, not every room has a pit. Two, not every room with a pit is going to give you unavoidable damage. Three, 
in rooms with pits and unavoidable damage, you could still aim away from the pit. There's three layers that you have to fail on to lose the weapon. What, what I'm saying is, if I lose a weapon to it, I'm just going to spawn it back in and give it back to myself. <laughs> and I'm saying that you're a fucking bitch. Exactly. So there. This weapon is very good against Snack. Yeah, I should probably make its orbital radius larger on boss enemies, but at the same time, I can't be fucked. Another mimic? Hello. Another mimic. Because on smaller things, where the bullets don't hit a second ah. time, it's actually not that useful. Like, it's it's useful in like a yeah. crowd control sim. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, false blank sucks, so you don't want to take it. Um, what the hell's this thing do? It's definitely a bunny weapon, right? No, it's mine. All oh, right, okay. The, the uterine polyp. Sounds great. <laughs> Basically, it fires squelchy bullets that leave a small puddle on the ground. And this puddle is, is basically like acid. It does uh, high damage. It doesn't like give a status effect, but it does high damage to anything standing on it. Yeah. It seems intriguing. I shall take it and use it. Pretty generic weapon, but I made it because I played the game Hellwomb. And Hellwomb's this little, like, itch.io game. Mm. That's not... You know, it's it's pretty short, it's not super crazy or anything. But it had a very intriguing visual style. And uh, I was like, you know what, I want to make something from Hellwomb in my mod. And so I made uh, the gun from Hellwomb. It's good when you get, like, you play, like, a little sort of... It, not a particularly unknown game, but you play, like, a little game and you just get the the, the sort of idea to make something from it like that. I, I, think, I think they spawn some really interesting guns and, like, just items and stuff. The, the uh, obscurity of a reference is directly linked to how cool it is. <laughs> yeah. It's like... There is some references in my mod that I don't even know what they're from. <laughs> the kinetic blaster in my mod if you give yourself the kinetic blaster you'll know which one i mean is a gun from an old like back in the day game give yourself the kinetic blaster i just want to like show what i'm talking about while i'm talking about it you know what i mean Oh, this thing. Yeah, this yeah. thing. It is an old thing from a game that I saw in a YouTube video, and I saw the game, and I was like, hey, that's a pretty neat-looking weapon uh, from a, an old game. It would be fun to reference. I like, I like yeah. the visual styling. So with the name of the game fresh in my mind, I looked up Sprite Extraction. It's got a reference image. And sort of just left it in my to-do folder for ages. Finished it, finally. Are you looking at that corpse jiggle? Yeah. It's doing funky things. <laughs> it's like on the I finished scene. it, finally. And added the gun to my mod. But by that point, and to this day, I have, I have no memory of what the game actually was. <laughs> like, what the actual name of the game is. So, I have references in my mod that I don't, don't know what the reference know. is. You don't even know the source material, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of weird. For reference, in the game, you use the gun to, like, fly around the environment because it has high knockback. And so you like high recoil. the other way around where it does high knockback instead of high recoil, yeah. It also pushes you back when you fire it. Yeah. Perhaps I should make it so that, like, a short time after firing it, you get flight. So if you, like, rapid fire the gun, you can fly over pits and stuff. That would be pretty cool, yeah. Because, again, in the game it's from, you use it to fly around the environment. So That, that would work pretty well, yeah. It's a good idea, but, like, oh, more code, ooh. <laughs> 
I don't want to write code. I want to sit on my ass. Uh, to be fair, those two aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> are you are you past your uh, your times of non-stop gungeon coding forever? I'd say I'm just in a hiatus because I'm just sort of non-stop doing other things. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't realize this one deletes bullets. That's very good. Oh, yeah, I have, have a bunch of things. That. I've been watching it delete bullets for the past god knows how long, and I thought you realized. <laughs> I kind of did, but I didn't really think about it, and that, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, ugh, because the diamond sword so this is probably an SDL. You give one. yourself table technology. I can sort of show you what I meant with the uh, the table lasers. Oh, is it actually in the game? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It's just excluded. I think it should work unless I broke the code. It's table technology. Nope. Not Might enough. be a, a dash instead of an underscore. Yeah, there you go. Try flipping your table. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, and it's broken, which is why it's not in the in the current version of the mod. I just can't because yeah. it's meant to fight. It, it's meant to fire for a specified length of time, and it is it's still doing <coughs> that because it's not done yet. But it's meant to fire from the middle of the table, right? But it breaks the table, so it doesn't know where the middle is, and it sort of just defaults to that position. Yeah. For the rest of its what? Well, to be length. fair, when you said about it, about a table firing a laser, I didn't realize you meant like that sort of laser. I thought you meant like the um, like the lasers from the fucking laser gun, whatever that one's called. What the hell's the laser gun called? I can't remember what it's called now. I'm gonna have to go find out. Honestly, if any, uh, do you mean the laser rifle? I think I do. I can't remember. A lot if of things it, uh, I haven't for seen. For the record, you know, public cry for help. If any modders uh, know how to stop the beam from damaging the table, I'd be very appreciative. Goddamn, so many modded things. How oh, is it still modded? Oh my god. <laughs> Just keeps going. <laughs> I think I mean the laser rifle. I can't remember and I can't find it. Probably the first time I've ever gone into this menu on a video. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I do mean the laser rifle. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like fire those projectiles. You, you went through that. You went through that whole rigmarole just to be just to say yeah, you yeah, know that's what I meant. <laughs> yep. Also, the arc shotgun. Hell yes. Frig arc fan. A razor. I can't remember what this does. I remember uh, it being good though. When you, when you shoot an enemy, chance to delete their bullets, if I recall correctly. I know it's a chance to delete enemy bullets when mm -hmm. you do something to their owner. I just don't remember exactly what that something you need to do is. Yeah. I don't know if it's. I think it's. I think it's when you damage an enemy, there's a chance that some of their bullets get deleted. My goodness, this is a good gun. Uh, the the arc shotgun's having a bit of a rough time. What do you mean? It's fine. I don't know what's going on with it. It seems. It's I'm not sure bullets. why it's been a bit of a. Oh, it's flak. Of course it is. Yeah, the flak bullets is creating the... some glitchy looking sort of. Because the bullets are invisible. Yeah. Yeah, that would explain the slight frame rate drops whenever they yeah. all hit at once. It just do be a little bit glitchy as all. Well. Oh, you bit! Didn't realize it dropped a barrel on me. <laughs> like Apache went through all the effort to code in that slow, dangly drop in of the of the barrel, and you just <laughs> sit there ignoring it, you know, finger up your own ass. Yep, just watching. You know, just fail. walking into the explosion. Wait, I managed to uh, fix a broken synergy with the G switch recently. Oh really? Yeah, it, it was one of those deals where I was like just really tired and didn't want to code so I made a synergy for it at the time and I just didn't want 
to test it. And so for a while now, it's just done nothing in my mod. All right. <laughs> Booklet. Interesting one. Basically, uh, they hang in the air, and after a specified time, they launch at the nearest enemy. Nice. I like the idea of this. And it does the booklet like symbol thing when you reload an empty clip. Yeah. It seems but pretty dope. Basically, I don't want to test it, and it turns out, uh, yeah, I should have tested it because it didn't work, and I finally got around to fixing it. So what, what did it do? What, what, what was broken? The synergy made it a spawn an additional shield on every piece of money that was dropped on the ground in the room. <laughs> that sounds really powerful. It was, but it was with stuff like the prototype railgun. Yeah. So like, <laughs> fuck, I dodged. So yeah, like stuff that was hardly, you know, the end of the, the world for you to get a powerful yeah. synergy while you already had something powerful. I'm loving this little knife's um, bullet modifier. I always, like, I always draw, like, letters with the booklet just to, just to roleplay a little, you know? <laughs> like that. <laughs> little ear there. Because yeah, it does mimic that booklet attack where it's like, yeah, like that. Nice, I kind of like that. But, uh... Yeah, I finally fixed ah. that. Which is good. Good to not have very broken things in the mod. Always good. By the way, those of you watching, if you can't tell, me and Never Named are quite tired. <laughs> You know, I'm just not, I'm not any more tired than I usually we're am just every not other day of my we're life. just chilling. Yeah, Libram, Sometimes... of the, Libram of the Chambers has put you in a pretty bad position to be it tired. <laughs> it has. Because, like, you need to... Libram of the Chambers is a pretty decent item, but you need to be, like, aware of your surroundings. That's, that's another, Libram was my idea, wasn't it? Yeah. That's, that's what another one of my ideas that I'm quite, like, happy someone made, because I yeah. think it's a pretty so cool basically, one. basically... Uh, he made the idea, and then I did all the painstaking code work, and so he calls it his idea. Exactly, yeah. Burst rifle. Ooh, I love the uh, muzzle flash on that. That looks awesome. Yeah, it's stolen from the AWP. Yeah, it looks great on this gun. Ooh, and the bullet like projectile looks really good too. Thank you. Yeah, it's one of the... Uh, I was basically trying to find a good sprite for the Grassy Knoll, which uh, is a gun that I haven't finished making yet. Why'd you just stand there? Yeah, it wasn't the greatest idea, was it? Do you know what we'll do to... Like, because I died early, I'm going to go and do the mini... The, the mini boss boss rush, because I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. Uh, sorry, Apache. Now I'm going to go do it. Fair. Yeah, um... Oh, what was I talking about before you, di you died unceremoniously? My mind is just drawing a blank. Yes, um... <laughs> I was listening, I swear. So you walked into the room, and then you died. What was I talking about? God, what was I talking about? Oh, God, I look like such an idiot. I have oh, Alzheimer's. We, like we were talking about Libram and me, and, you steal and me giving you the idea and me stealing the credit. Yeah, but after that... What was it? Ow, I'm, I'm so smelly. I remember Apache saying that uh, uh, Sir Manuel has to spawn as a second wave, or otherwise he glitches out. All right. That's weird. This has been little baby Gungeon episode for me and uh, Never Named, considering. Wait, do you, yeah, any, I mean, do, you, do you get any guns in this, or do you just not get any guns from, uh, from the You just get the, the like normal mini-boss rewards. Ah, okay. 
Just like you get normal boss loot from the bosses. But yeah, this just has the, like, the three vanilla... Like, three... Uh, it's four vanilla, right? Be great right, at does all the of, uh, a pack, all Does of, the um, Shadow Magician appear in this? I do not know. It does. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be it cool if this had all the, um, the, all the modded fellas in it as well. I mean, I know that'd be a lot harder to do, but... Apache would need to add in some, like, compatibility thing. Yeah, that'd be really awesome to see. That's, that's on Apache, really, though. Yeah, I wouldn't expect him to do that. Basically, I'm just trying to get across it's not Bunny's fault. Oh, God. You're just going to fail this, too. Apparently, sir. Oh, could you give me something more trash, you stupid idiot? Oh, the grassy knoll is what I was talking about, yeah. Yeah, that uh, uh, I'm Now I'm sad that you got the burst rifle and you just died. <laughs> I got to see it enough to think it was cool, though. But, yeah, I, I was working on a rifle called the grassy knoll, which is... It's a reference of for course. anyone who, <laughs> who knows. Does it's it do a... extra headshot damage by any chance? I, if I could, I would, but I don't think there's a way to define headshots no. in Gungeon. <laughs> Not Half really. the enemies don't have heads. But, oh, uh... Oh, no, there you go. Got it. Yeah, I was gonna, uh... I'm, I was gonna, and I'm still gonna do it. But it's just like... I, I made a few versions of the sprites for it. Hmm. The, uh, the curse shrine to boss rush was my idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Apache listened, because he is an angel. But, uh... Ah, oh, bugger. Yeah, and I made three or four, like, s rifle sprites, just trying to find one that I felt fit. And I found one. And... But I didn't want to waste the other two. Mm. So the other two became the burst rifle and all reliable. Ah, oh, nice. And they... Because they were made in the same, like, batch of sprites, they're all, s like, similar. But also all different, you know what I mean? Yeah. What up, fella? So we can leave it there? Yeah, I think so. I guess it's a short episode, but <laughs> hey, short we one. got to we got to show off some stuff, and me and Evan got yes. to finish off talking about nuclear power <laughs> and accidents. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of an old episode, really, but then again, it was still fun. So yeah, either way, hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'll try to do more showcases of cell stuff. Of course, I'll have the pack on, so if they're and naturally update. spawning, yeah, and I update Gungeon Go Burr. But if they're uh, if they're appearing in regular runs, like in normal chess pools and stuff, then I'm sure I'll see them in my no normal runs here and there. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. -bye.